Hi, and welcome to the Global Statistics uh, Customization Tutorial. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. We can double click on this 3D globe render comp uh, layer in our render comp timeline, or we can go to our project panel, go to the all graphs folder, go to the 3D globe map folder and double click on the 3D globe map or 3D globe render comp. If you go back into the, th uh, the project panel in our 3D globe map folder, we have uh, several compositions. We have our render comp, which we have open. We also have the change map here composition where you can change your map. And we also have the uh, enter 3D globe map data here. This is where you can enter your data um, for the globe, the change the text and uh, change colors. So let's take a look in our render comp first. As you can see, we have a globe rotation control uh, layer. And this is where you can change the rotation or animate the rotation um, of your globe. And this is uh, created with the our map data composition. Um, it has the CC sphere effect applied to it to make it obviously like a sphere. So you can change um, the rotation controls pretty easily in this layer. If you hit U on your keyboard, you can bring up those keyframes. And we have um, our globe rotating on the X uh, axis and the Y axis. Now the Y axis controls it's spinning like from east to west. If you wanted to change that, um, just make sure your current time indicator is directly on top of a keyframe. And you can use these little triangles and click on those to move from one keyframe to another. And you can change that rotation um, angle here. And we have our X rotation animated uh, because we had in one section, we were seeing uh, Sweden and South Africa. And obviously those are in total opposites of our globe, um, north and south. And so we rotated ever so slightly so that we can see the bottom a little bit better. Um, if you were just mainly focusing on the southern hemisphere of the globe, you can use your X rotation uh, to to move that and only see the, you know, spin around on the, and just see the bottom part of the globe as opposed to like directly in the middle. So we can also change our text in this composition for the main title. If you double click on any of the text layers, you'll see it's highlighted. It becomes, um, you can now edit that. There we go. And you can repeat that for our last text um, layer as well. And you're going to change the font, the color and size in our character panel. You can choose um, a different font. We also have our um, all caps uh, option selected. Click off of that and it'll revert to whatever formatting you had um, when you originally typed it in. So we're gonna go ahead and make that all caps again. Now to change our data on our map, we can double click to open the enter 3D globe map data here composition on that layer. Here we are. And if we just move ahead in time, we'll be able to see all of our data sets. And in the timeline, go to the enter map data here layer. And in our effects controls panel, you'll see uh, where we can enter our data and the the data isn't animated like it is in some other uh, charts. It's actually uh, scales up with the uh, circle. So all you need to do is just, you, you can use a slider control. You can slide this around to make your, uh, make your number, change your number and make the circle, you know, bigger or smaller. Just enter your data here. You can also change the maximum value. And this will change all of our circles in our data in proportion to um, the maximum value. So there you go. We'll change that back. And our next control layer is the uh, text controls. And this is where you can also um, turn off certain data sets. So if you wanted it, if you only had, you know, five, you can turn off all of these. Then you'll only have five. If you wanted to move these anywhere else, select the um, circle move 01 layer. They're all numbered um, in our timeline. You're going to select that. That's like a control null layer uh, that will move everything. 
So you can move those anywhere you like. You can also double click on the text layer and change that text. And if you wanted to change the uh, prefix and suffix for in front of each number, you can do that here in this layer that says uh, type prefix here. If you double click that, you can change that to whatever you like. Once you click off of that, you'll see that all of our other prefix are um, updated as well. So you only need to change one and it changes the rest of them. If you go back to our effects controls um, panel for our text controls, you can, like I said, turn off and on the circles. You can also change these uh, prefix. You can turn that off. You can turn the suffixes on and off as well. And you can change the number size here. If you go back to our text controls and turn on circles layer, you can also change the number size. And that changes the number and our prefix and suffix. And if you'd like to change the um, colors, we'll go to our color controls and you can change our text and number symbol with one color click. There we go. Well, you can't see that, but just wanted to show you that. And each um, circle can actually be a different color if you like. So you can change circle two to be something different. But just know that um, each of the circles, well, some layers are hidden, so you want to hit the shy button to unshy them. The circles have a um, color mode on them applied. So you have a uh, multiply selected. You can change that to whatever you, whatever you like. Um, normal, that will, well, obviously you can't see it now. But uh, yeah, so just want to let you know about that. And we'll shy those layers again. We'll go back to our color controls. Um, and so like I said, er, each uh, circle can be a different color if you like. We have our background color for our map, and we have our fill color for the map, and the outline color. And these um, are all applied to our map, which is our bottom most layer, which is a change map here. If we double click that, open that up. And this is the map that actually comes with the template. If you want to use your own map, you can, but some of the uh, color controls won't work because these are applied specifically to these layers.